Hey everyone, and welcome back to Ontario Vintage Tractor. Today, we're back at the farm. We're picking up another tractor. If you watch my videos at all of us tractor pull and whatnot, I guess even our general farm videos, you'll see my cousin always in the background as well. Today, we have another WD-45 that we're gonna pick up and we're gonna get it, I won't say built, but we're gonna make a few modifications that are gonna make it much better for pulling. So stay tuned, here we go. <laughs> so here it is you may have seen it in some other videos as we've filmed sitting in the background and whatnot uh, what was kind of peculiar to me and i don't know if anybody else will know the answer or not but when we bought this tractor we bought it in kind of a, a group buy with a bunch of other ones but this one had a yellow engine block i don't know what's gone on there but that's not something that we've done so if anybody has the answer to that whether it was an industrial unit or what or if it's something different or just by fluke that one's yellow but uh, this tractor does run. It was seized, uh, very, very lightly seized. We put a hand crank on it and a pry bar and the thing just kicked off and it ran. Overall, pretty straight tractor and in decent shape. So we're going to get it loaded up and, as well as load up one of our bush hogs I got to fix too. And we're hoping to have this tractor ready for Tease Water, which is August 21st. We'll be there as well. So without ado, let's uh, get it loaded up. Okay, first things first, we're going to load up the bush hog. It's way in the bushes over there and we're gonna do it with our wd this tractor's running like a pail i really got to get that engine changed but should work well enough to at least get the bush hog loaded As you can tell, that tractor's definitely not running the greatest, but like any Alice, it'll still get the job done. Tractor's on the trailer. We'll go ahead and shut the fuel off and start getting it chained down. Oh, 
All right, got the entire load strapped down. And uh, we're gonna head back home, get this bush hog fixed, and start turning this into a pulling tractor. All right, well, that's it for this episode of Ontario Vintage Tractor. I hope you enjoyed seeing us uh, get this other one loaded up to uh, build ourselves another puller. This will be part one of the series. Um, I'm gonna cover most of what I can without giving all the tips and tricks away that uh, have certainly been working for me. So, as always, if you like what you're seeing, please give the video a thumbs up. Costs you nothing, really helps the channel grow, and we really appreciate it. And uh, pound that subscribe button down in the corner. Until next time, take care.